Hi there, welcome to Lean Factory. So today we are going to talk about what are the key challenges faced by a machine shop and what kind of improvement projects we can do in a machine shop. Right? When we do all these improvements, it should result in tremendous savings as well as you know, business performance should improve. That's the whole idea. This is not the regular type of videos we do. This is a slightly different concept. I'm going to talk about few industries, few sectors or few type of industries I would say. And uh, we will start with this machine shop as a concept. And in the later videos, in the future videos, we will be talking about press shops, injection molding uh, companies, then fabrication units. So today, we will start with machine shop and learn about what are the major operations present in a typical machine shop, what are the challenges and what kind of improvement projects we can do. So let's start the video. So let us look at some of the important activities or major processes in a typical machine shop. The first activity is a turning activity, then there will be some milling activities, then boring activities, then grinding activities and facing activities. So these are all some of the important processes that are present in a typical machine shop. And then there are some other activities also which happen in a machine shop. What are those other activities like cutting activity and there may be drilling activities, not drilling the holes welding activities may happen and then there may be some heat treatment activities so in many companies the heat treatment will be outsourced and similarly powder coating activity powder coating also i have seen companies where they outsource the powder coating activity to a vendor these are all some of the activities that are present in a typical machine shop let us look at what are the key challenges faced by people in the machine shop the high setup time for machines in most of these CNC machines, the milling machines, turning centers, the processes which I described earlier, there is a setup time for the machine. And in many cases, the setup time will be like more than 30 minutes. Sometimes it goes up to two hours, three hours also. If the setup time is high, what are the impact of that? One, the loss of productivity, because during the setup time, the machine is not running. So there is no production. So anyway, that particular setup time period, there is no production. But there is even bigger side effect of setup time. What is that? For example, if the setup time is high, we generally would like to keep a lot of WAP. Let us take a setup time for a mission as three hours. So because the setup time is high for three hours, I don't want to stop the machine every day and do the you know, different, different product. But instead, what I will do, I will create 10 pieces or 20 pieces, depending on my, you know, the size of the operation. And what I will do, I will produce in bulk and store it because I don't want to do regular setups because it is three hours. Right? So if the setup time is high, indirectly, people would increase the WAP also. They will start producing things which are not required also immediately. Right? I may require it for next week. I may require it for next month. But today itself, I will complete and keep it as WAP because my setup time is high. Are you able to get this? So this is not a direct relationship. This is an indirect effect of setup time. In many machine shops, I have seen people having a lot of WAP because of this. The setup time is high. If we can reduce the setup time, I can produce the pieces as and when it is required. Right? If the setup time is just 10 minutes, I'm just saying. The setup time is 10 minutes. I can produce the component as and when it is required. So I don't need a lot of WAP. If I have a lot of WAP, automatically my space requirement will be high and I have to now take care of the product. So this is one of the biggest challenge facing the machine shops. The second problem is the breakdown of machines. Many times the companies run with you know, uh, old machines, people don't take care of it properly. You know, there will be a lot of oil leakages, bearing issues, some noise will be there in the machine, vibration will be there. People will still continue to run it you know, in the same condition. What happens after some time, the machine will break down. So this is another challenge. How can I make sure that the machine is available in a perfect condition in a machine shop? So this is the second challenge. The third one is there are a lot of these minor stoppages or the small stoppages which happen during the running of the machine. Some insert changes may happen. Sometimes the tool will break. Sometimes there will be some lubrication issues. All those things will happen. So the machine will be stopped for two minutes, three minutes in between. Then they have to fix the problem. Then they again start the machine, all those things. The fourth point is poor quality of production, right? There may be a lot of high rejections and reworks. So people have to you know, rework again and again. This is another challenge facing the machine shop. 
and finally i am consolidating a lot of general challenges present in other industries also right like materials not available on time poor planning so one mission is available but there is no plan for that mission and generally the shop floor condition will be very bad you know because of oil leakage right and a lot of wep is present so what happens automatically the cleanliness of the shop floor will be very bad so these are all some of the challenges faced by a typical machine shop so what is the setup time and what are the number of breakers these two i would say are the key challenges faced by these companies and what kind of improvement activities improvement projects we can do to solve these challenges so the number one improvement which a machine shop should do is reducing the setup time of the machine by using a quick change over or single minute exchange of dice that will be the number one project i would say if you are having a machine shop please focus on reducing the change over times automatically you will reduce the change over time so your productivity will be improving second your wap also will come up right from 3 hours if i can do the change over in 10 minutes or 15 minutes people don't have to store a lot of wap no i can produce as and when required so automatically your shop floor fibers will improve also your wap will come down overall cleanliness will be there the second improvement project which you can focus is the tpm especially the autonomous maintenance because the operators working on the mission should take care of the mission that is very very important generally people don't do that and people come to the work they they do a little bit of cleaning here and there right they will remove the chips and you know do a little bit of cleaning but they don't have a clear you know daily cleaning checklist or daily maintenance checklist so if you can prepare that and train the people on doing a daily autonomous maintenance that is the operator takes care of the machine the basic cleanliness basic you no know, uh, oiling greasing activity all those basic things if we can fix it no so overall your breakdowns will come down that you can start doing it third one is the minor stoppages the small small stoppages are there no why it is happening can we improve the tool can i change the tool maybe no i have selected this tool for this operation like 5 years back at that time i that was a right tool available but today with the technology advancement no there may be a better tool which will be having lesser wear and tear which may be suitable for your product right now can i do that right can i select that and use it so that can be used tpm also helps in identifying the small stoppages and eliminating them for example some leakages some minor you know uh, lubrication issues all those things can be fixed using a proper tpm implementation total preventive maintenance or total productive maintenance the fourth point is poor quality how can i improve the quality lean has a tool called tqm total quality management everybody's job to focus on the quality who is responsible for quality in the company everybody and especially the production people are responsible for quality because it is in the process the quality is you no know, should be made right so the defects are originating in the process so the production team is directly responsible for the improvement in quality and you can also use some poka yok okay, or mistake proofing methods to eliminate the defects no we have to arrest the defects before they arise so the poka yok okay, would help you in eliminating the defects and the next point is general challenges general challenges what we discussed no non availability of material poor planning no uh, lack of cleanliness in the shop floor etc those can be reduced with proper planning fibers implementation etc right so these are all the common improvement projects which you can do in a typical machine shop and if you want to do all these projects no now we know whom to contact you know, we have done uh, these improvements in many companies and we have seen tremendous benefits if you are interested in training your people or implementing these projects please feel free to contact us if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please consider subscribing we post a lot of videos on lean and operational excellence and this will be a good learning opportunity for you and your team members i'll talk to you guys in the next video see you bye